Hey there! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily add watermarks to your images using Optimal. If you don't already have Optimal, you can easily install it from your WordPress dashboard. Simply go to the Plugins tab, add new plugin, and search for Optimal. Install and activate it, and create your free account once you've done so. After all these steps are done, you will receive an email with your login details that you will be using to log into the Optimal dashboard. In the dashboard, if you want to add a new watermark, just go to the watermark page by clicking the button on the left hand side. This is your watermarks library. Here, you will find all of the watermarks that you have added thus far. And you can also add a new one. In order to add a new watermark, all you have to do is click on the add watermark button. As you can see, a pop-up has appeared. In order to add your file, you can simply drag and drop it right here, or click the upload file button. Before doing so though, please note the extensions that are supported by Optimal. You can either choose a PNG file, JPEG or SVG, and it needs to be up to 10 megabytes in size. I'll click the upload file button and choose the watermark that I already have prepared. Once the file is uploaded, the name field is automatically populated with the file name. You can keep it as is or select a new name for your watermark. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to name it new watermark. Click the add button and there you have it. Your new watermark is now part of your watermarks library. In order for it to be applied, we need to set up some conditions, and for that we must go to the Rules tab. Here you will find a list of all the rules you have created so far. To add a new one, simply click the Add Rule button. First, you need to select the type by which the images will be filtered by. In the drop-down list, you have multiple options. If you filter it by site, then you will be able to select all the sites where Optimal is installed. Next up, we have Width. Here you need to select a value in pixels, so let's say 50 pixels. You also need to select a condition. You can select equal to, greater than, or less than. In layman's terms, this rule will apply the watermark to all images with a width greater than 50 pixels. And you have the exact same options for height as well. Next up, we have extension. Here you can select the extension type of the images where you want the watermark to be applied. And they are the exact same ones as I've mentioned earlier, JPEG, PNG, or SVG. And lastly, we have contains. Here, you need to input a string, and the watermark will be applied to all images containing that string in their name. So, let's say we want to add watermarks to all the images on our website. For that, I'm just going to click on Site and select the site that I want. The cool thing about Optimal is that you can select multiple conditions. To do that, all you have to do is click the Add New Filter button. Now, you can combine conditions and also select a logical operator between filters. Do we want to take into account both filters or just one of them? and you can add as many filters as you'd like. If you want to remove a filter, all you have to do is click on the trash can icon right here. Once you're happy with the rule, click the next button. Here, you get to tweak the appearance of your watermark. First, select the watermark that you want. Now you can play around with its opacity, scale, and position. In the position drop-down list, you have a ton of options. From top, center, bottom right, bottom left, and so on. Or you can actually fill the entire image with your watermark if you so choose. Let's leave our position at the bottom right. Next, play around with the scale. In this example, I feel that the watermark is a bit too large, so I'm just going to lower the scale of it. And lastly, you have the opacity. How visible do you want your watermark to be? Once you're happy with how it looks, just click the Save button and you're done. Now your new rule will appear in the list. Please note that each time you create or edit a watermark, clearing the cache is required. This can be done from the WordPress plugin. Simply go to Media, Optimal, the Settings tab, and click on the Clear Cached Images button. Managing your watermarks and your rules is extremely easy and straightforward, so let's check it out. In the Watermarks library, find the watermark that you would like to edit or delete. Click on the Edit button, and you have two options. You can update it or delete it completely. And to manage your rules, simply go to the Rules tab, find the rule that you want to edit or delete, and either click on the trash can icon or on the pencil icon to edit the rule. Again, after making changes to either a watermark or a rule, please don't forget to clear the cache. What we've done so far is to create a watermark and set its rule for it to be applied on multiple images automatically. But it's also possible to add a watermark directly onto a specific image, and this one will take a higher priority than the watermark supplied via rules. For that, you need to go to the Optimal library by simply clicking on the Library button. Here you have all of the images processed by Optimal and associated with your API key. Find the specific image where you want the watermark to be added, click on it, go to watermark, and now you have the exact same options as you did when you set up your rules. You can select the watermark's position, scale, and opacity. Fiddle around with the settings until you are happy with the result. And that is how you can add watermarks to the images on your website. 
Make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe for even more tutorials coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.